Wondering what is Spaces by Wix? In this Wix mobile app tutorial, you'll get Wix support and Wix help on how to use the new Wix app. So let's get right into this complete Wix tutorial for beginners that'll show you everything that you can do with the Wix branded app. First off, if you don't have a Wix account yet, just click on the link in the description box below to sign up for free. To download the new Wix app, head over to the App Store, search for Spaces by Wix, and download an app called Spaces Follow Businesses, which is the members app by Wix. Wix also has the Wix owner websites and apps mobile app, which can be used to build, customize, and manage a website and mobile app experience for your business and community. We'll talk about that app another day. So once you've downloaded the Spaces by Wix app, opened it up, and logged into your Wix account, you'll be redirected to your site's menu. This is where you can see all of the Wix websites you've created or have been invited to collaborate on. Up top, you can click on the search icon to easily search your sites or on the plus icon to create your own business or community with the Wix Owner app, which is the other mobile app we talked about earlier. With the Wix Owner app, you can build, grow, and manage your own professional website and members app, invite people to book services, buy products, and stay updated with your news and offers, as well as get all the powerful business and marketing tools you need at your fingertips. If you wish to download the Wix Owner app, just click on the button at the bottom. You can also click on the three little dots on the Spaces by Wix app's homepage to join with invite code and manage your sites. This includes pin to top and hide from my sites. At the bottom of the Spaces by Wix app, you can click on the chat bubble icon to access your inbox. Right below where it says inbox, you can change which site's inbox you're accessing. You can click on the pencil icon to start a new business conversation or personal conversation, click on the three little dots to access the website's chat status, and actions such as mark all as read, edit list, and settings. These settings include chat availability, offline or online, as well as general settings, including outbound email address, saved replies, business number settings, notification settings, about Wix inbox, and go to feedback site. You can also search for a specific message, filter conversations by unread, unassigned, assigned, assigned to me, and archive, click through to read any message, and message visitors that are currently on your site. If you click on the compass icon at the bottom, you can discover content you love. This is where you can explore your favorite blog posts, browse top picks, and share your own articles for others to read. If you wish to discover content you love, click on the Get Started button. Lastly, you can click on the Person icon at the bottom to access your profile. This includes your agenda, as well as your activity, including your bookings, your events, your orders, and your subscriptions. From your profile, you can also access your notification settings, saved credit cards, delivery addresses, create your own site with the Wix Owner app, and join with invite code. If you're serious about using Spaces by Wix, make sure you check out our Wix tutorials playlist for even more Wix tips and tricks, as well as our free complete website creation guide below this video to learn more about how to create your own website step-by-step -step without stress or overwhelm. Leave a comment below and let me know if you'll be using the new Wix app or if you'll be continue using the Wix desktop version. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel so that you can navigate the tech side of online business with ease. And stay tuned for our next video, which is about how to add comments to your new Wix blog. As you wait for our next video to go live, check out these two videos I have right here, and I'll see you in my next video.